Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Gold Shelbyville Golden Eagles football show. We're glad you guys could join us today. I'm Jim Fuller. I'll be your co-host. And, of course, the star of this show today is uh, Coach Jason Hardy of the Shelbyville Golden Eagles. Rough kind of night last night, Coach Hardy. Yeah, you know, it's a disappointing way to end the season, but, uh, you know, we faced a team that we knew going into it was going to be tough. They were undefeated, great talent, and... Uh, you know, they were there for a reason, and, and we deserved to be there as well. But we knew we'd have to play our best game of the season and have some lucky breaks. And uh, going in with a few men down didn't help any. But really proud of our kids' effort. We come out and, and uh, started off well. But just uh, when things didn't go our way early, it just kind of, you know, the, the better team come away with a victory. You know, that uh, if you watch this team all year long, they, they've been a team that uh, could come back and played well in the second half. And uh, you, you really never – Counted them out, I guess, and, and until uh, until the score got to be about 35 points. And yeah, yeah. I mean, we we never panicked, and it's been that way all year. And that's one thing I told them. When, and really, our game plan, knowing, knowing that Hillsborough really hadn't had a close game, we wanted to try to keep it close and, and get into that fourth quarter uh, with a shot. And I thought if we could do that, we would have the advantage of playing all the close games. But uh, you know, the second quarter had a couple of big plays, and they were that type of team that any given minute they could they could score a touchdown. And when they took some of those big plays, it kind of put us in a position where we were having to play catch up, and they were just too good defensively to try to play uh, catch up all night. So, you know, kids did did what we asked them to do. It's just uh, it wasn't a night for us. We'll hang our hats uh, on a great season, and we'll be very proud of it. Uh, Hillsborough had a couple of players, and or maybe more than a couple, that are probably going to play on Saturdays. Yeah, they were very uh, loaded there, talent talent wise. Uh, you know, everybody probably knows about their, their tailback who signed with Tennessee, and he was he was really better in person than I thought on film. And uh, they got a defensive end that's going to play in the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, four-star, five-star prospect, about 6'5", 270, and runs a 4'6". And oh, goodness. He was just a, you know, he was a tough matchup, and, and the kid plays hard, too. He's not just a, a big kid. He's a really, really fine player. And... There are several kids out there. You know, quarterback going to TSU, wide receiver and DBs are going to Austin P, and they're going to have several other kids in the junior class that's going to be playing on Saturday. So they had a lot of athletes on the field, a lot of talent. Uh, and, you know, we have some good players as well, but just I think their depth versus their depth was a big difference and, uh, you know, just uh, wasn't meant to be. You have to feel good, though, and, and I think you mentioned this, though, that, uh, you know, it turns out you guys, uh, you know, Finish the season nine and four. I think you have to feel good about how these kids played throughout the year. It's a good year for you guys. Yeah, it was a really good year, and I mean, a lot of positives going into this season. Uh, the kids had some goals, and, and we we met some of those goals. And uh, you know, I thought every night it was we put our, our best kids out there with our best effort, and you know, come away with a lot a lot of victories. Done something that hadn't been done in Shovel only one time, and it was 19 years ago, getting to the third round of the playoffs. So. This team went as far as any other team in Shovel history, and I think that's you know something that's going to be a great memory for these kids. Uh, we'd like to have went further than any of them, but we talk to our seniors all the time about leaving the program better than what you, you came into, and these guys each year have made steps, and uh, just we're going to miss these seniors, but they have laid a foundation saying every year we're going to get better, and hopefully these underclassmen are going to come in next year. Third round is going to be just a, you know one of those things that we expect to get to and hopefully surpass that. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to take a quick commercial break, folks. We'll be right back in just a moment with game action. What if you could find peace of mind with Got Your Back Checking? Discover Ascend's preferred checking, where rewards and security are the key to a balanced financial future. Earn cash back on purchases at your favorite retailers. Plus, our ID theft protection, card patrol, and extra security mean your finances stay safe and sound. Open or upgrade to an Ascend preferred checking account and see what's possible.